In today's video, I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite draft eligible prospects for this year's 2021 NHL Draft. One of the most skilled and probably my favorite to watch, and his name being Kent Johnson. Johnson is a 6 foot 1, 165 pound shifty forward from North Vancouver, British Columbia. This left shot skater has played both center and wing throughout his hockey career, but is listed as a center on Elite Prospects, where I get most of my information on these players. Johnson played this past season in the NCAA for the University of Michigan and put together a very strong freshman campaign with 9 goals, 18 assists for 27 points in 26 games. This was good for second highest on his team, which was also stacked with young talent with other top draft picks and prospects Thomas Bordalo, Maddie Beneers, Brendan Bersan, Cam York, and Owen Power. And to show just how impressive those numbers are for an 18-year-old playing college hockey, Johnson and Bordalo were the two top leading freshman scorers in the entire country this past season, and two of only four total freshmen in the nation to average a point per game. Johnson is extremely highly touted, some scouts have him ranked as high as a potential top four pick, but most have him going around pick seven or eight. It would shock most if he doesn't go at least top 10 in the first round. And if you like what you're seeing, please consider slapping a like on this video and hitting subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos like these. Johnson played the 2019-20 season with the Trail Smoke Eaters in the BCHL and tore the league apart with 41 goals, 60 assists, and 101 points in 52 games. Good for a 1.94 points per game. This was far and away the highest point total in the league and 30 points more than the second leading scorer. During the season, Johnson's goal highlights would occasionally go viral because he was doing things on the ice and scoring goals that nobody else was even really attempting. He even scored multiple Michigan lacrosse style goals during the year and a penalty shot goal where he faked like he was hurt and basically scored with one hand on his stick to completely confuse the goalie. I know people throw around these types of comparisons a lot with all the new young skilled players that come to the league, but he does give off Patrick Kane vibes with the way he handles the puck. He's extremely creative and really confident in his offensive ability. There was one highlight real goal for Michigan this year that he had, and it was absolutely beautiful and came against one of the best teams in the Big Ten in Minnesota. The speed, dangle, and backhand roof all show you exactly why people have said this guy gives off heavy cane vibes. Johnson reminds me a lot of another similar size and similar skill set player who I've also made a video on in the past in Trevor Zegris. Johnson is almost a clone of Zegris in my opinion. These two are super similar in the way they play, the things they try on the ice, and the confidence they exude. Zegers, of course, ended up going ninth overall in the 2019 draft to the Anaheim Ducks, and many, including myself, were saying that he may be the biggest steal and one of the best players to come out of that draft. If I were a team picking at the top of this draft, I would not sleep on Johnson and let him slip by. I would think about even taking him top five, to be honest. Looking at the bottom teams in the standings right now, if I'm a team like Detroit, Columbus, maybe even Anaheim, I would think hard about trying to get Johnson, who is one of, if not the best offensive players that will come out of this draft. And depending on where Seattle ends up picking, that would be an awesome piece to get to kick off the future of that franchise. Let me know in the comments where you think he'll end up going and where you would pick him if you were a GM. I think Johnson will likely head back to Michigan to get one more year of college hockey to continue his development. He's already improved a ton in one year, and this year he was getting some top six minutes and power play time at the beginning of the season. And then towards the end of the season, he and some of the other freshmen like Matt Beneers were playing a lot lower in the lineup. I think next year Johnson will likely get first line minutes and a ton of playing time. I believe he could potentially be one of the leading scorers in the NCAA and maybe challenge for the Hobie Baker. We've seen it before 
with Cole Caulfield and Kale McCarr, among others. And sometimes that extra year can make a huge difference. And players like Johnson can come back and be dominant in their second year. No matter what, I do expect him to be an awesome player at the next level. And whatever team ends up drafting him will be extremely glad. Let me know what you guys think of Johnson in the comments. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching.